So in case you live under a rock, last year it was announced that Elden Ring would be getting a DLC at some indeterminate point in the future. And then we never heard about it again. But in spite of From Software's radio silence on this, based on alleged leakers, content creator theories, and just general community sentiment, people seem to think that the DLC will be coming out at some early point this year. And much like everybody else, I am beyond hyped up for what they've got in store for us. So that being said, I logged into Elden Ring the other day and realized that I have a bit of a problem. And that is that I don't actually have any characters ready to take on the DLC. DLC. I've got this one, which is like halfway through New Game Plus. I am not playing the DLC on New Game Plus. This one here, I think I was using to test builds out and I'm 90% sure I am out of respects. I think you can get more of them from PvP, but honestly, I don't feel like doing that. This one is a mage build that's like halfway through the game. And while I could use this, I kind of feel like everyone and their mother uses mage builds. Plus it's sort of playing the game on easy mode. So honestly, I'd rather not. And then there's this one, which honestly, I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be. So I figured now's as good a time as any to start a new character, get a fun new build going and make my way through the game so I'm ready for whenever the DLC drops. As always, make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yes, because you're probably wondering, this is just a thinly veiled excuse to play Elden Ring again. Now, we're actually going to start with the uh, samurai class here. I kind of have an idea of a build and weapon that I want to use, which may or may not end up working out. I'll explain that in a little bit. Anyway, for today, we're going to be playing as Katsuragi. And she doesn't look anything like Katsuragi, but we're going to pretend. And away we go. Now, like I said, I kind of have a plan for what the build's going to be. And the main idea was that I was going to take this playthrough to try out claw weapons because they seemed really cool and I've never actually bothered to attempt to use them before. So I thought that might be fun. Now, the uh, first of the claw weapons that you can actually get in this game, I believe you have to beat Margit to go get. So we're kind of just going to speed run our way there and then we'll figure out everything else after that. Yahoo! Goodbye, Grafted Skyon, by the way gonna jump off the edge and kill myself real quick. Save us all some time, you know? Now, if this seems kind of speedrunny or I'm sort of breezing past things, that's because I am. If you haven't played Elden Ring or at least seen a playthrough at this point, I don't really know how to help you. Also, actually, let me go do the Cave of Knowledge real quick. I haven't played this game in months. I don't remember exactly how many runes you get for killing the boss down here, but free XP is free XP. Also, I'm just now realizing this was probably a good idea. I'm still kind of used to the Liza P mechanics, so I'm not entirely prepared to play a game this slow, I think. You gonna do something or are you just gonna sit there strafing, pal? Like, come on, hit me. Okay, not like that. I want to parry him. Fuck, come on. There we go. I feel like that shouldn't have been that difficult. I don't know, man. He just stood there and wouldn't hit me. What the hell? All right, soldier of Godric, prepare to meet your maker. Well, assuming I remember how to do this anyway. Oh. All right, come here, you. Holy shit, you stagger on one hit? Wait, that's actually pathetic. I kind of thought that would be not challenging, but at the very least, it would take me more than two hits to do. Anyway, moving right along. And here we are back in the lands of between. Oh, it's good to be back. Let's go talk to Mr. Maidenless over here. Unfortunately for you, however, you are- Yeah, yeah, I am Maidenless. Not for very long though. So yeah, like I was kind of saying, my plan is to get a claw weapon and to kind of use that for this playthrough, just to see if it's any good, you know? Which means I'm basically gonna have to speed run my way to Melina and then fight Margit pretty much immediately. Now I will attempt to solo Margit level one, but in the event it doesn't work, I will summon Roger for it. Just cause I'm not entirely sure how hard that's actually gonna be. And I don't really feel like spending 20 to 30 minutes just trying to get the weapon I want to use for this playthrough. I'd rather move this thing along, you know? Anyway, made it to the site of Grace, minimal issues. Hi, Melina, how you doing? Yes, I would like to make an accord and we're good to go. Give me the horse, please. All right, so now I have a torrent and we can actually get moving here. Like I said, not really bothering with any of this stuff. I'm gonna go back and get it all later. The main goal right now is to just go get the weapon I actually wanna use because part of me wants to see if it's any good or not. Like I said, I've never really used claw weapons in Elden Ring before. I have actually no idea if this is gonna work. I do have a backup plan in the event that claws end up just being really shitty or I don't like them or whatever, but I'm not entirely sure how long I can get it this early into the game. Game, so I kind of want to figure out if I'm going to use the claws sooner rather than later. Also, wait, actually, I forgot. I have to go get the uh, dogs. Sorry, one second. I need my uh, bell. This way tarnished. Ronnie, my wife, you're as beautiful as the day I lost you. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. That's me. I can call the spectral steed. Marry me. Okay, I have a bell. Lone wolf ashes. We're good to go. And that's really it. I guess I'll get to see you later, right? Bye. Don't worry. I'll be seeing you real soon. Maybe not in this video in particular, but soon. Speaking of which, as far as this playthrough goes, I think comfortably to make this character ready for the DLC, I want to get like to the fire giant. I don't want to beat the fire giant because the world changes pretty drastically at that point. And I don't know if this is going to be like the Ariandel DLC where it happened. Oh my God. Oh, you guys just followed me in here, huh? Okay. All right. One at a time, please. One at No, 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 no. Fuck off. Ow. How did that miss? I really didn't think you could follow me in here. All right, come here. You first. Goodbye. Come on. There we go. Get on the floor. 
Don't fucking gank me like that, you weirdos. Oh my god. Anyway, like I was kind of saying, I don't really know if the DLC is gonna be like Ashes of Ariandel, where it starts like in the middle of the game, or if it's gonna be like the Ring City where it starts at the very end. I feel like Fire Giant's a comfy point where I haven't irreversibly changed the world in the event that the DLC takes place like halfway through the game, but I can also finish the game relatively quickly in the event it's like at the end. Not that we'll be getting there in this video though. My plan is basically to play until I get bored and then that's gonna be the video, however long that ends up being. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Get down here and let me kick your ass. Well, hopefully anyway, I mean, it's also entirely possible I get my ass kicked here. In which case, I am 100% summoning the sorcerer guy. Just because I have no patience, okay? Go in and hit him. Fuck. Dude, one and jump and we'll do this. Boom. No, fuck off, dude. I swear you took longer to do like everything the last time I fought you. I'm getting up in his face. Up. <sighs> yeah, all right, fuck this. I'm summoning the guy. Listen, complain about me using summons all you want, but I've got like 30 minutes of collecting items to do, and I'm not letting Margaret being a little bitch stop me from getting that done. Okay. Come here. Oh, he actually just missed him entirely, huh? Oh, wait, come here, come here, come here, come here. Fuck you, get on the ground. Pure cheese, that's what we're doing here, pure cheese. Okay, he's summoned the thing. All right, well he's in phase two, I guess now's the time to do this. Do I have any shame at all, you might be asking? The answer is, uh, no. No, I don't. And do I feel bad about this? Also no. The reason is simple. I have wasted more than enough hours of my life fighting this guy, I honestly don't feel like trying. Wait, don't kill my sorcerer, stop that. There we go. On the ground. Goodbye, Margaret. I do not feel bad about cheesing you in the slightest. Good riddance, easy peasy, skill issue L, mauled, seethe, cope, all that good stuff. Look, man, it's a DLC prep playthrough. I'm not here to try my pants off, you know what I'm saying? If it makes you feel any better, I promise I will not be doing that again. In this video, anyway. All right, so now to get to the uh, claw weapon. Actually, hold on, let me go kill this guy real quick. Fuck you, Gostock. I don't even care what you have to say. It's not what you did, man, it's what you will do. And now that that bit of gratuitous violence is out of the way, the weapon, I believe, is up here. No, stop that. Dude, no one asked. Also, I'm trying to block attacks with my weapon. That doesn't work in this game. That is the wrong Estus. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Okay. I suppose on some level that's karma. Doesn't really make me feel any better though. At least I died right fucking here. Actually, wait, let me spend these runes before I do anything else stupid. What the hell am I doing? I don't actually know what the stat requirements are on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get health. I feel like health and endurance are good investments maybe. I can always respect later. I'm gonna fight Renala at some point. Anyway, I'm just gonna run past all this real quick. I'll end up picking up most of this stuff once I come back here later on in the playthrough. Oh shit, I thought that would stagger him. Okay, here's the weapon. I think this is it. Yeah, hook claws, that's what I wanted. Now I need to figure out how the fuck I'm gonna get out of here. I think I can just run? Yeah, they're not gonna catch me, this is fine. All right, and we made it. No problem, easy peasy. All right, so now I can switch over to the hook claws, which uh, once I dual wield them, I get two for some reason, and I'm basically fucking Wolverine at this point. So yeah, this is basically the build I was shooting for. There are different claws you can get throughout the game, but this is kind of where we want to start, I think. I don't actually know if these are the best ones or if they're really gonna be any good at all. There are a couple different claw weapons you can get throughout the game, but I also need to figure out if the moveset's even something I like at all, so we're gonna have to experiment a bit. Actually, let me just give these a try here. I want to see what the damage and the uh, moveset's looking like. I just completely missed that. We're gonna ignore that. Damage is looking pretty all right. Oh my god, I didn't think there would be that many. All right, jumping attack. Go! It's sort of- holy sh- yo! All right, this might be a slight issue. All right, I'm gonna parry this guy. Okay, not that. I'm gonna parry you. On the floor, sir. Out of my face, that didn't even do half his health, my god. Slight problems are being had. I like this jumping attack, this is pretty good. Oh my god, that's not good. It'd be nice if everything I was fighting didn't have fucking great shields though. And there we go. Oh, that shouldn't have been so difficult. And uh, I can't say I dislike this moveset either. The range is a little short, but I feel like that might just be something I have to get used to. I get the feeling the damage will pay off, especially considering this thing does 60 bleed loss buildup and I'm actually planning on making that even more. So I'm thinking this will be a good thing. 
I mean, look at that shit, dude. I just mauled him against the rock. That was fucking awesome. So yeah, we'll stick with this for now. Obviously, if it's not really working so good against bosses, I'll have to switch to something else, but for the moment, this is what we're rocking with. And now we move into the best part of any Elden Ring playthrough, gathering up a bunch of random bullshit before I proceed to actually play the game. All right, so we went and got just a whole bunch of stuff done. I'm assuming I cut it together into a little montage or something. Got a little turtle shell on my back now, looks nice. I mean, it looks stupid as fuck, but you know, it works. Now, as far as all the stuff I did actually go get done, I mostly just stuck to the necessities for the sake of time. Flask upgrades, weapon upgrades. I killed Greyroll for the levels, that sort of thing. And uh, now we're just gonna move right along and fight Godric, I guess. Although I do wanna clear out Stormvale at least a little bit. For one thing, obviously just for the runes, but also there are a couple things in this level that I do want. One of them being the uh, Claw Talisman. While I've been messing around with these claw weapons a little bit. I did notice that the jumping attacks seem pretty strong, so seeing as I'm probably gonna be making pretty heavy use of those, I should probably get the talisman that upgrades them. Also, I'm gonna show you guys a nice cheese strat. Check this out. So you switch over to the Uchi here, right? Because this guy is gonna come aggro us. Come here, you. So now you run out the door. Okay, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. But yeah, so you run out the door and he is just, uh, he's stuck there. I learned this in my first playthrough and they never patched it for some reason. So I just go and do this. Yeah, he still attacks you through the door, so you do need to be a little bit careful while you're doing this, but it makes life a lot easier than trying to fight one of those things in an enclosed space. And there we go. And the reason I wanted to do that is what exactly? I'm actually trying to remember. Oh yeah, you have to go in here. And the curved sword talisman. Wait, that's not the one I want, is it? Enhances guard counters. No. Now I need the claw talisman. That is in Stormvale somewhere. I'm just trying to remember where. Anyway, I guess the uh, name of the game here is to just progress into... Okay. Literally nobody asked, sir. But yeah, I guess the name of the game here is to just progress until I find what I'm looking for. Also, I know there's at least one golden seed in here, plus an NPC I want to talk to. So we got a couple things to do before we fight Godric. All right, now, if I'm remembering correctly, I think the Claw Talisman is up there, I want to say. I'm not sure if I can actually get there from here. All right, is this it? Yeah, Claw Talisman, there we go. All right, so now we can equip this, and in theory, our jumping attack should be enhanced. Now I just need to make my way through Stormvale and life will be good. Ow. Although I will need to do some backtracking at some point in time. Just because, like I said, there is a golden seed in here and also a couple NPCs I want to talk to. Speaking of which, here's Roger. All right, yeah, so I think he's just a merchant here. I don't think I can summon him for the Godric fight. I'm pretty sure the only NPC you can actually summon for that is... What the... Why are you here? Stop. Are you being serious right now? Go away. I can't attack. Wait, why can't... It won't let me attack because I'm in a... Wait, that's bullshit. It wouldn't let me attack because I was in an NPC zone and the bird's just sitting there fucking wailing on me, dude. Wait, that's insane, actually. Oh, anyway, now that that bullshit's done with... Okay, this spits me out where exactly? Oh, I know where I am. Well, hey, my damage is pretty good when I'm not getting cheesed. That's nice, at least. Okay, now, I want to say that item is important. I can't remember if that's for uh, upgrading spirits or not. Oh, God. All right, hold on a second. There we go. One free backstab, thank you. There we go, all right. One bleed proc and you're dead. Easy peasy. And uh, what's in here? Mimic's Veil, that's kinda useless, I think, unless you're Dunky. I think there's a way to work my way down there without jumping, so let me just, yeah, if I go this way, I'll get there, I think. Oh yeah, now there is the grafted scion in here, but I don't honestly feel like fighting that right now, so I'm probably just gonna run past it, grab the items and just make my way on through. It's for the sake of convenience, you know? Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's even anything worth grabbing in here, actually. I think this? No. Anything else? Wait, what is this? I don't remember this item. Somber. Oh, nice. I don't really think I'm gonna need that for anything, but good to have. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, so I'm just gonna say fuck it and jump down. It is what it is. Chrysalid's Memento. Yeah, I think that's the thing I need to uh, upgrade my spirit summons. Where the fuck did the grafted thingy go? Oh, there he is. Don't mind me just making my way on through. Leave me alone, please. Thank- Oh god, I forgot about this. Run! No, stop! Oh my god, help. Something died. I don't know what, but something died. It's fine. I was gonna go try and get an item. I don't even care anymore. I just need to get to the bonfire. Anything beyond that is extraneous. It's fine. Stop it. Why is your attack so delayed? I can't see anything. No, 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 please. Please, please. Anything but this. All right, we made it. Shut up. 
Oh, sit at the bonfire and life is good. Oh my god, that was a pain in the butt. Anyway, I could go fight Godric, but I want to get a couple things done before I do that. Number one is this right here. This should be a sacred tier. Also, I think this is, a. Uh... Oh no, it's Trina's Lily, never mind. I thought that was the uh, spirit upgrade for some reason. The other thing is I need to find you, uh, Nefeli Lu, right? I am Nefeli Lu. Yeah. All right, so now we got her all talked to. The question is, do I summon her or do I 1v1 Godric? I don't know, I kind of feel like I should at least attempt to do this fair and square. Mighty dragon. Hey, old buddy. true-born heir. It's still a corpse. It hasn't changed since the last time I saw you. I mean, at least I'm not disgusting. I might be lonely, but I ain't disgusting. I command thee. No, fuck you. I'll do what I want. Come on, you. All right, let's see. You go in, I hit you twice. Wow, that's really not good damage, is it? Oh, God. One more attack, jumping attack. Boom. That worked. He's doing this. He rolls. No, he's doing his ranged attack. All right, that's fine. No, he's doing this. Hit. Easy. Oh, you saw my jumping attack. You wanted to do it too. All right, do the rolling one. No, not that. What the fuck is your problem, bro? Okay, this time he'll do the actual attack. There we go. Dodge, jumping attack. I'm like missing the second one. Smash attacks. Okay, you have another. That's fine. Wait, for real though, where's my uh, bleed proc? Maybe jumping attacks are not the move. Oh no, there we go. Okay. All right, he's doing his thing. Let's get some bleed going here. I know he's doing his attack. It's fine. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Hell yes. Okay. Now I got to get behind him. Please. Okay. This is fine. He's doing that. Heal. This is the jumping. It's fine. Jumping attack. Get away. I'm actually just going to... Oh, no. I'm dead. Goodbye, everybody. <gasps> Wait. Never mind. I lived. I am so good at this video game. Summon the dogs. Also, I forgot to drink my physic. Let me do that. I'm going in. Oh, no. Oh my god, he's gonna kill them all, dude! That's just messed up. I missed. Can you not with this, whatever this is? It's it's fine. It's literally fine. All three of my dogs died in one hit. Okay, that, this is actually okay. Hit him. There we go. First try, baby. Get out of my face, fucking freak. We will return together. Yeah, somehow I think that's actually never happening, my friend. All right, we got Godric's Great Rune, Remembrance. I'm probably just gonna eat that. Life is good. And there we go, one rune bearer down. Easy peasy. Now, I do want to go to Liernia before... Before I go back to the round table hold, I think I have some upgrades I can do, but before that, I just want to get this out of the way. There's actually quite a lot I can do in Liernia now that I think about it. Also, I need to go talk to uh, what's her name so she'll upgrade my spirits and stuff. All right, Liernia discovered. I'm trying to decide what I want to do first here. This is going to be a lot of running around again, I feel. I'll go get the map first and foremost. Yeah, like I said, I know I'm sort of skipping over a lot of stuff here. As far as uh, side quests or extra areas or anything like that, I'm going to go back and do all of that. Obviously, I'm not doing this entire playthrough in one video. My main goal for the moment is to just make progress and open up as much of the map as possible. For the most part, a lot of the stuff I'm skipping over, I can just go back and do later, you know? So with that being said, I think the next thing on the to-do list is to just go do Raya Lucaria. For one thing, it's the next great rune that's like immediately in front of us. And also, it'll give me the ability to respect just in the event I want to change my build or I haven't looked into what all the different claw weapons in this game are or what they do. So if I want to change my stats around, just in general, having that option is good, you know? Although before I do any of that, I'm actually going to try and go meet EG just because I remember he's sells higher tiered somber smithing stones and i'm wondering if he sells regular smithing stones as well because if he does then i can just keep upgrading these claws and i don't have to worry about it right, and we got ourselves a nice map here you always forget how much of the early game is just running around and collecting shit i am gonna have to cut so much out of this video actually anyway hopefully all of it was worth it because you are gonna have something useful for me he only sells somber stones okay that uh that kind of sucks actually I sort of thought he would sell me, like, I don't know, standard smithing stones? Anyway, what is even the fastest way to get to Raya Lucaria Academy? I guess it would actually be this way. All right, I'll go all the way back, dude. I will say, dude, as much as I enjoy the expansiveness of Elden Ring's map, it does make it a pain in the butt when you know where you want to be going, and you're just kind of forced to run there. All right, well, there is a gate somewhere that allows you to just fast travel to Raya Lucaria, but apparently I missed it. I don't really remember where it actually is, so I guess I'm just progressing through the gate town like normal. That's fine. I suppose. Actually, I'm trying to remember, how do I 
get up there. At least there's one of these lying around for me. That's always nice. Thank you. Yeah, wait, how do I uh, get up there again exactly? Do I have to climb the buildings over here or something? Uh, oh no, it's over here. I remember this. Yeah, now I remember. If you don't find the gate, you have to kind of run the gauntlet here with the carrion knights and the giant skull on wheels shooting fire at you and shit. It's great, really. Anyway, we got ourselves a nice uh, little bonfire here. Now, I can't get in yet. I actually need to go get the uh, key or whatever, which is here here, I think, if I am remembering correctly, which I'm probably not. So now we're gonna go get that. Well, anyway, while I'm just kind of running across a vast expanse of map here, I will say, dude, I really hope these claws work out for me. Maybe not necessarily these ones, but like a set of claws in this game, you know? My thinking when I picked these was I wanted to use something that was like familiar, meaning a melee weapon, preferably something that does bleed, deck scaling, prioritizing speed as opposed to uh, a strength build where you're really just trying to be patient and get your hits in at the best opportunities. But for one thing, I didn't want to use a weapon that like like a million other people have been using or something that's like super popular. Like I didn't want this to just be the millionth and first Rivers of Blood playthrough on this game, you know what I mean? But also I kind of wanted to step out of my comfort zone a little bit because I do have like some weapons that aren't necessarily the most popular, but I do tend to default to them if I'm just playing the game casually or not necessarily this game, but like Dark Souls in general. Like for example, my backup plan in the event that the claws don't really work out for me is the uh, Nagakiba, which is this game's equivalent of the washing pole from Dark Souls. Cause like when I'm playing Dark Souls one, two, or even three, if I'm just doing a casual playthrough for fun. I don't really know what I want to use. That weapon is generally my default. It's just something I'm very familiar with. I know the move set. I know it's damage. I know how to scale a build around it. It's just comfy, you know? Ow. Dude, dude stop. The damage is pretty good, actually. Honestly, can't complain about that. Yeah, for this playthrough in particular, I kind of wanted to use something I just don't typically use, if that makes sense. Thus, the choice of a claw build. Speaking of claws, let's see how the damage is against enemies that don't bleed, actually. Oh my god, stop. Okay, one's dead, two is dead. That actually wasn't that bad. Also, I don't know if it's a samurai armor. I know the samurai set is one of the better ones to start the game with, but I feel like I'm not taking very much damage at all. Maybe I'm just used to Liza P where everything like two shots me. I don't know. I feel like this isn't that bad. Also, while I'm here, I want to do a couple things. Uh, for one thing, I want to go back to the round table hold, actually. Need to upgrade my weapon. But also, you're here. I thought I had to uh, talk to you again. I was actually thinking I had to go back to Stormvale to make her come here, but that's fine. Anyway, this kills two birds with one stone. I can upgrade my weapon and I can make her uh, learn how to upgrade my spirits for me. Oh, I need six, huh? That's unfortunate. Anyway, I guess I don't have enough upgrade items. Before I go back into Raya Lucario, let me just check this place. There is a merchant here. I just want to see if he sells smithing stones. Some of them do, I think. Oh, he does. Oh, he sells smithing stone twos. Hell yeah. All right, so let me take, uh, I think I needed two. Two's enough, and I'll just have EG do it. Hey, EG, old buddy. I haven't talked to Blyde yet, but trust me, we're gonna be best friends, I promise. Okay, so this'll be plus three, and there we go, plus four, easy. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit better about challenging Raya Lucaria like this. I am a touch underleveled, I feel, but I mean, it's fine. I kind of know what I'm doing, you know? Although I do need to find some ghost glove warts so Roderica can actually upgrade my spirits. I'm kind of forgetting where I'm supposed to find that stuff, though. I feel like it's in uh, dungeons, isn't it? Actually, while I'm here, I might as well kill this guy. Hello, Mr. Gravity Man. Oh, you have two attacks, huh? You have three attacks. All right, you are a pain in the ass. Holy moly, calm yourself, sir. I, what? There's no way that hit me, actually. Get off my fucking screen. All right, we got a sorcery that I cannot use. Excellent, really. Oh, anyway, moving right along. I kind of feel like the rest of this area shouldn't actually be that bad. Considering the fact that uh, Red Wolf of Radagon, which is the next boss, he's not like super tanky. He does a lot of damage, but if I summon the dogs, it should be all right. And then Renala is like super weak to bleed from what I remember. So these claws should just absolutely rip her apart. Although before I do that, I do want to go check this out. Uh, I'm trying to remember what all's back here. Comet, yeah, that's not really what I was looking for. Stone Sword Key, that's good. There's actually a couple things I need those for. And then there is a talisman. I'm trying to remember if it was a sorcery talisman or not. I do remember on my sorcery run, I spent like a million years in here trying to find everything. I sort of figured that was the smart thing to do. Because there is a lot of stuff in here that's really good for sorcery builds. Just not for whatever the fuck it is I'm doing. Anyway, what is this? Graven school talisman. Uh, what does that do again? Raises potency of sorceries. Yeah, I can't even use that. Anyway, whatever. That's fine. I'm just going to go fight the red wolf. Oh, wait. Actually, hang on. We got a chest here. What is this? High frames. That was literally the worst timing in history. And it was for a fucking pot. I died for a fucking pot. Are we being serious right now? What the hell are you doing? All right, well, uh, that was a stupendous waste of my time. Oh, good, and I have to run all the way over here to get my souls back. Excellent. No, stop it. To the Red Wolf I go. Hopefully this isn't too bad. I'm actually gonna summon these just to make my life easier. Come here, you. Ooh. 
Dude, those are so hard to dodge. Dude, all my dogs but one are dead already. What the hell? I mean, at least you take a lot of damage, but holy fuck. All right, there you go. All the dogs are dead already. That was fun. Okay, on second thought, the summon route was maybe not the way to go. You know what? It's fine. Come get me, dog. That'll do. Do you bleed? The game doesn't seem to care. Oh my god, heal. Heal! I'm dead. Wow, I actually didn't think he would kill me. I mean, it's fine, I guess. I honestly didn't really expect my dogs to be this useless, but I just need to not assume that they're actually gonna do anything for me here. I think if I don't get overly aggressive, it'll be fine. That's actually not a bad way to start the fight. Dodge. Hit. Back away. Okay, that was not good. Jumping attack. Got him. Dodge. We're good. Heal. My dogs are already not doing so good. They're just a distraction. It's fine. That was a good amount of damage. Hey, two dogs dead. It's fine. I forgot to... Fuck. That three dogs dead. Holy shit, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Uh, we're fine. Maybe. I dodged so early. Hey, jump. Hit. Back. We're fine. This is easy. I... I don't know how I dodged that. Oh, no. Please. Dodge. 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 Hey, hit him. It's fine. I dodged too early. God, sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's slow. I literally... I'm incapable of figuring this out. Jump. I missed. I'm so fucking terrible, actually. It's fine. Sit down. Off the screen. Give me the memory stone. Not that I have any use for that at all. Oh my god, that was a little bit more stressful than I expected. I don't know why I had so much trouble just then. Actually, that's kind of a lie. I sort of do know why I had trouble just then. These claws really don't have very good reach now that I'm thinking about it. And honestly, I'm wondering if I'm going to start having trouble with bosses that kind of keep their distance from you. I- What? But yeah, I imagine it'll be no problem for like Renala, for example. Also, wait, I forgot this was here. Where does this go? I'll figure that out later. But yeah, I imagine it won't be a problem for like Renala just because her boss is pretty simple. Right now, I'm just imagining fighting like Radon or Melania, where like they're constantly jumping all over the place and shit. I don't know what I'm gonna get my hits in, dude. Also, can you not do this, whatever it is you're doing? I, what? It gave me the backstab animation. It didn't fucking backstab him. Is this a joke? There we go, no problem whatsoever. And you know, I'm actually kind of feeling confident. I'm just gonna go challenge Renala as is. Who cares? Five flasks, not even full HP. We're ego challenging this one. Boys, that's what this is. Yeah, we got ourselves a good old library cutscene. Why is my neck like clipping through my hair, by the way? Hello, creepy child. And now we deal with this. So I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I actually really don't like this fight. I realize I haven't talked about Elden Ring the game at all, by the way, throughout this playthrough. But yeah, being completely honest with you guys, I really do not like this boss fight. Just because I much prefer boss fights that actually demand me to fight the boss. Oh, I almost had her in that one go, actually. Except now she's doing this fucking tombstone shit. Where is the, uh... But yeah, in general, in Souls-like games, I really don't like gimmick bosses. Which, obviously, it's only the first phase of this fight. The second phase is, like, a proper fight. But straight up, I would have much rather just had the second phase be way tankier and just have that be the whole fight. Like, I understand this first phase is important from a lore perspective, but... I don't know, dude. It's really just not my thing. It also doesn't help that this part of the fight is, uh... Holy shit. I actually almost fucked that up so bad. Oh my god, she summoned the dragon. Wait, I was not prepared for that. Oh my god, don't kill me, please. Yeah, holy shit, these claws fuck her up, actually, though. Look at this. Heal! Quickly! There's a dragon! Oh, now there's a giant! Why is this shit happening? Stop. I'm dead! I thought the dragon was gonna despawn. I'm gonna be honest. This game is fucking stupid. And now I have to fight phase one again. Like, can this shit just cooperate with me, please? All right, I will not fuck this up. There we go. All right, take two, I guess, man. Whatever. I actually can't believe I fucked that up on the first attempt. I really feel like I should have had it. You know, I bet if I use blood grease, I could actually get her in one go. But, oh well. I'll just deal with having to hit her twice. It's fine. All right, where's the uh, golden child over here? There we go. No, stop. Okay, one. Next one. I remember I used to think this first phase was so annoying because I, like, didn't figure out how the children spawn. But once you figure it out, this is actually, like, so unbelievably easy. It's really just tedium. Okay, let me actually... Hold on. Let me do this first. And then we finish her off. Okay, so now, in theory, I should kill her faster. Hopefully. Never mind. There's one bleed. Stop throwing shit at me, please. There we go, double bleeds. Let's see if we can get more. Stop trying to summon shit. I just tried to parry Eliza P style. I don't know why I'm still trying to- Dude, can you not? Hey, run at her before she summons a fucking dragon again. There we go. 
Holy shit, why was that so difficult? I don't know why I was having so much trouble, dude. All right, and there we go. Two main bosses down, and I don't know, this probably took me, what, like three hours? Now I can respec, I can go to the Altus Plateau. Yeah, like I said, my main goal with this first session here was really just to open up the map and give myself some things to do as far as progressing this character goes. I wasn't trying to be, like, super completionist and making sure I hit everything or anything like that. I just wanted to get two great runes, allow myself to go to the Altus Plateau up here, open up some other quests for me. Like, the next thing I'm gonna do probably is go see Ron and start her quest. Then maybe explore Kaled a little bit after that. Start doing some of the stuff over there, you know? But uh, for the moment, I'm actually gonna call this video here. We got through a fair bit of what I wanted to get through today, and I don't wanna make this video too, too long. Like I said, this is mostly just because I needed a character that I wanna take into the DLC, and I figured since I'm playing the game from the beginning anyway, I might as well do at least one video on it. Now, that being said, I wasn't planning on doing like a proper playthrough or anything with this character, but if you do wanna see more Elden Ring, let me know in the comments section, and I probably wouldn't do a playthrough like I did with Lies of P as far as this character goes, but I'd be down to do a video just checking in with you guys every now and again. Give you guys your Elden Ring fix and all that good stuff. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.